Welcome to TrendNet TV. I'm Denise and I'm here today with John to talk about internet security cameras. John, what's the difference between an internet security camera and a web camera? Well, a webcam is usually used uh, to view people that are sitting directly in front of a computer, whereas an internet security camera is used for surveillance purposes either in the home or in the business. So tell me the difference about regarding installing an internet security camera and installing a webcam. Well, a webcam is plugged directly to the computer via a USB cable. It is powered by the computer, and more importantly, when the computer is turned off, so is the camera. The Internet security camera, on the other hand, is installed to the network, uh, and it'll work regardless of whether the computer is turned on or off. They are connected to the network wired via the CAT5 or wirelessly via a router or access point. So where can we use these cameras? The cameras can be used uh, either in the home or businesses to monitor, let's say, baby rooms, key entry points, sensitive work areas, warehouses, parking structures, retail locations, and parts of the property such as your backyards or the pool area. So tell me about some of the features of the cameras that we have here today. Uh, well, this is just a sampling of our 19 different Internet uh, security cameras. Uh, we'll begin with our entry-level model, the TVIP110W. This provides uh, basic high-quality surveillance and can be connected to your network either wired or wirelessly. Uh, moving on up to the TVIP312W, this builds on the features of the 110, but it also gives you two-way audio, so you not only can hear what's going on, but you can also speak to the environment. Uh, it gives you, if you look at the front of the camera, you'll see what we call LEDs, IR LEDs, which gives us night vision, so to speak. It can give us visibility in total darkness of up to 16 and a half feet. It also has a USB port for recording still images. The TVIP422, my little R2D2, also builds on the hardware features of the 312, including infrared capabilities, as well as two-way audio, and a USB port for uh, recording still images, but it also gives you the ability to cut and, and pan across 330 degrees and tilt up to 110 degrees. The other thing that this guy has is a input-output port for connecting third-party devices such as alarms. Um, let me paint a real uh, picture of where these cameras can be installed. Denise, do you have a pet? Yes, I do. His name's Harley. All right. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and check up on Harley during the day. What you can do is, from your uh, work environment, using a, a browser, you can go ahead and log into the camera. You can watch real-time video streaming. And if for some reason you don't happen to see Harley where he's supposed to be, you can go ahead and use the pan and tilt features of the camera to locate him. And if for some reason when you do locate him, he's doing what he's not supposed to be doing, you can go ahead and give him instruction on what he should be doing. So can you use more than one camera together? Actually, with the bundle software, you can view up to 16 different cameras. So tell me a little bit more about the software that comes with it. Well, the software is, is called SecureView. Uh, you can have up to 16 different cameras, and they don't have to be the same model. You can mix and match models on this software. Uh, you can view the images either full screen, uh, meaning the entire screen is filled with a video image. Uh, you can watch one image at a time within uh, the software uh, view screen, and you can scan between different cameras. One of the other things you can do is you can record different recording sessions per camera. You can determine where this recording is going to be stored, at, either on the PC or with the network attached storage uh, for more secure recording. Um, you can also adjust the image settings, and you can uh, perform digital zoom on the camera. Uh, one of the more important features of the software is motion detection. With motion detection, you can, one, start your video recording. Number two, send an email alert saying that something has occurred uh, and the camera is recording. And if you've got a third-party device connected to the input-output port, such as an alarm, you can set the alarm off. Well, thank you for all the detailed product information, John. Think of TrendNet for all your internet security camera needs and visit us at www.trendnet.com for more product information.